Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore GPT 4O, the new Omni model by OpenAI, the model that can reason with multimodal data, vision, voice, and text. A Omni model that can do everything for you almost right earlier we had gpt4 vision the whisper model for speech to text the gpt4 turbo 3.5 blah 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 now a single model that will do everything that's what they have said it but it's right now it's not available will so programmatically we'll also see how we can code this how we can build our own api you know to for some kind of uh, insights extraction from images and how we can programmatically use the gpt4 o model the new model that's the end of this video without any delay let's jump into it guys now uh after the launch yesterday everybody uh when i've been talking with you know they all want to try it out and i also tried it out so it's available bo on both uh, on chat gpt uh web client the mobile devices and also on two api so we'll see it both programmatically and non programmatically so for example if you come here on chat gpt you can see the models as i am a paid user but it's available for free as well but i don't know till you know i think it might be a marketing strategy to give it free for a month or two or three i don't know that okay we will we'll be we'll be seeing it in near future but i am a paid user you can see gpt4 o gpt4 and gpt3.5 gpt4 newest and most advanced model 2x faster 50 percent cheaper and 5x higher rate limit than gpt4 which is fantastic that's what you need you know to build cost effective solutions now i'm already on gpt4 o let's test it out first non-programmatically where i'm not writing code we're just testing out the model's capability and then we go into uh you know programmatical thing let me ask a question so they say that the right now audio feature is not available audio feature is the voice feature is not available through chat gpt web client or api it is not available it will be available you know very soon because that's an iterative release that's what they said right now only vision and text is available for your information now let me ask a question who won the recent champions league match between excuse me real madrid and bayern munich the reason I am asking this question because it has now ability to go on web just like perplexity. Perplexity is gone. <laughs> perplexity is done now. Okay. And that's what I always have said, right? Use GPT whenever GPT or whenever OpenAI uh, announce a new update or a new release, 30% of startups become obsolete because they are doing the same thing that Chat GPT will OpenAI will do it eventually, right? So you can see the you know, when Perplicity said that we have generative AI powered search engine, ChatGPT has brought in, in uh, right here that you see on screen, it gives you source citations. Of course, it's not giving you images and of course, nobody cares about it anyway. You know, I have to, if I have to download images, I will go on Google image and download all the preference that I have or the choices that I have, right? Now, if you look at here, it says searched four sites. It tells you that which, which are the four sites the model has searched Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich, Bing.com, Sky Sports, US.SoccerWay.com, and Independent.co.uk. Real Madrid won the recent Champions League match against Bayern Munich 2-1. There was a, con uh, you know, there was a controversial offside uh, in that match again. This victory allowed them to advance to the final with a 4-3 aggregate score. The decisive moments came late in the game with. Uh, Jose Lu is scoring twice in the final minutes to overturn Bayern. So you can see, right? It has now the ability to uh, give you real-time information. Let me ask. Okay, uh, what's happening with the Lok Sabha election in India? So in India is going through a uh, election time as of now. You know, uh, for the uh, for the prime ministerial candidates for, for, for selecting the prime ministers right now if you look at here it says the Lok Sabha elections in India are currently underway with the polling being conducted in multiple phases it's already has you know West for instance West Bengal saw nearly 74% turnout I think it was yesterday uh, West Bengal there was voting 
Assam 75, Goa 74, blah, blah, blah. So it, it's able to now go on internet and search for you. So building agents are now even more easier. Using a single GPT-40, anybody probably Grok is giving you free for a while, but they will again make it, make it paid very soon, guys. Okay. So now this is this is what I wanted to try it out. Now let's go to the next thing, which is bringing up some data here. So I'm going to bring an invoice. So I'm uploading an invoice image and let's try it out the invoice extraction part. So I'm going to ask the questions. Can you generate or not generate? Can you extract? all the key values key value pairs i'm writing this pairs i i you know there's some typo but llm is smart enough to get that you can see company name uh, it gives you acme it gives you address it gives you phone number so building invoice extraction bots are also easier so if you are in this kind of business just go and build an invoice extraction using gpt4 omni model but enough of talking guys and looking at chat GPT web client. Let's see how we can do it programmatically. So I'm going to give you a quick glimpse. I'm not going to write the code. The code will be available. I'll give the code in through a GitHub repository. You can try it out. Let me show you a few things. GPT 4.0 oh, is now available on OpenAI documentation. So they have given everything that you need to build solutions programmatically. Two models are available as of now. Two different variants. GPT 4.0. GPT 4.0, our most advanced multimodal flagship model that's cheaper and faster than GPT 4 Turbo. And that currently points to this version. So you can see the model and the version. Right now, it only accepts text or image inputs and outputting text, nothing else, no audio, no voice as of now, guys. So keep that in, uh, in your mind, right? So the demo, and that's how they uh, launch a demo, right? That's how they announce something. So that will be released in, in near future. And how can you do this programmatically? Let's, let me show you that. Come back here on a, like a collab notebook or a Python file. I have two files, app.py and test.py. And I'll show you why I have two files. In requirement, probably we do not need these as of now. These are the things we need. We need python.env because I have an env file where I have stored my key openai underscore api underscore key equals uh, double quotation and put the key there. And then fast API as to build a REST API kind of a thing, which basically it's a Python library help you build scalable APIs. Then we have ubicon, which is a, which helps run fast API application. It's a server. It's a web server that helps you run that uh, code. And then openai, you know, to use that. Now, if you look at the text.py, if you want to try it out, the vision capability, because I am more interested in that. Text is like, anyway, it's fine. There are two ways you can handle images. You can handle through URL, a web URL, and then you can handle through local images. For local images, you have to look at base64 encoding. And I have, I'll give the code in, this, uh, in the GitHub repository. You can take it from there. If you look at here, the model is available so let me show you you first go and load dot env client equals open ai and then we are creating a response client dot chat dot completions create model and passing the model name which is gpt40 and then having a schema for the inputs now messages which takes role which is user content content i'm just asking in role you can also define uh, you can do a system prompt kind of a thing here i'm doing in content what's in the image very simple prompt, but you can, based on your use cases, you can change this. And I'm passing the image URL directly. If you are loading a local image, you need to do it through base64 encoding. Okay, so do not worry about it. Then passing some inference parameters like max tokens, temperature, blah, blah, blah. And then getting the response dot choices over here. Now, what I have done, I've created a fast API endpoint. So you can see, let me show that. I have a base model just for validations. And then I have an endpoint called analyze image. And then I'm taking an image request using the same code in try block and just using nothing changes. Everything is same. Just using response, respond or choices and just getting it. Let's run this and see. Now I'm already running it over here. I'll just rerun it. Okay, now if I rerun it, you can see. Try it out and here you can pass the URL. So this is the URL I'm going to take. You can see this is an image. You can take any image, invoice extractions, healthcare, medical related data. You can take 
any accidents data for claims you can take anything different use cases guys that you can solve you know you can do advertisement marketing gdpr blah 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 n number of use cases can be solved through it okay now i'm going to copy this here and let's come here and paste and execute now once you execute and they say that it's faster yes 2x faster so you can see it might take up to 10 seconds you know to generate the responses but i think you should stream the responses anyway let me see why it's taking a bit of more time is it running yeah it's running so let's see that never exactly you know believe the demo guys demo can be really created we all i also have created a lot of demos when i was when i worked with multiple companies the big companies we used to fake the demo so anybody can do that okay so now if you look at here it says the image shows a serene natural landscape with a wooden boardwalk leading into the distance through lush green grassland the sky is blue blah 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 and you can find it out over here so this is the image that we have uploaded that you can see it's fantastic isn't it Ooh. you can take any image you can do it locally as well you know i'll give the code you can just find it out base 64 and everything remains the same just change the url and the base 64 function that's it now so it's available through programmatically as well you can only do as of now text and vision no voice okay and that will be released soon that's what open ai said the iterative religious uh not a revolutionary change guys you know gpt4 vision would have been done the same thing of course pricing but you should not play on price but the pricing is like there in a single model the omni models so do not have to call different models so that's also an added advantage but not a revolutionary uh, change i believe right uh, the open ai updates the demo looked amazing the magical that's what sam altman said the magical yeah but let me know your thoughts and findings and if you have built something cool so far with this we'll build applications with this you know in near uh, in near future i'll create a lot of videos on this uh, to build projects uh, using this model now uh, the code will be available on my github repository find the link in description if you like the content i'm creating please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe the channel and share your feedbacks and thoughts uh, in the comment box about gpt4 omni model and share the videos and channel with your friends and to peer thank you so much for watching see you in the next one